how to use the Parent Teacher Organizer platform ptmorg.com. Parents and guardians will receive a text from the school with a link to the Parent Teacher Meeting Organizer platform. This link takes you directly to the Parent Guardian login page and has the Cranach College School Rule number 71140Q preset for your convenience. In the student ID box, you need to enter your child's VSWR ID. All students have been given a paper copy of their VSWR ID, but if you need to locate it yourself, we have provided instructions on how to do so. After clicking the login button, you will see a list of your child's teachers where you can make your preferences for who you would like to speak to on the night. Appointments will be assigned in order of your preference as selected on the PTM Organizer platform. Therefore, it's important to follow the on-screen instructions to select the subject teachers you wish to meet with in order of preference from 1 to 10. If you select 0, it indicates you don't wish to meet that teacher. And while we will do our best to accommodate everyone's needs due to time constraints, it might not be possible to meet all teachers. Each appointment is limited to four minutes maximum in order to facilitate as many parents as possible. Once you've made your choices, click that I will attend the meeting, please save my preferences button. If you're unable to attend any meetings, select that I am unable to attend the meeting button. When you save your preferences, you should see that your attendance preferences have been saved successfully screen. And we would ask that you make your choices before the deadline set by the school. When the meeting schedule has been processed, it will look something like this. You will be notified when your schedule is ready and you'll be able to access it on ptmorg.com. Your child will also be given a printed copy to take home. In the evening of the meeting, you will use Google Meet links provided by your child's teachers to join them at the allocated time. The Google Meet links will be posted in Google Classroom, so you should check that you can log into your child's Google Classroom account.